Today is Weigh In Wednesday. Can you believe it? I have not said that for the longest time. You know, between changing plans and kind of working through that for a couple weeks and then the hurricane and working through that for a couple weeks, it's, it's been about a month, I think, since I've done a Weigh In Wednesday. So I'm pretty excited to give you a whole bunch of details. I did talk to my dietitian. I know a lot of you had sent me DMs saying, do you even have a dietitian anymore? So we're going to talk about all of that right now. All right, so if you're new here, I want to say hello. I'm so glad you're here. Also, bring, to bring you up to speed, I know that if you are new and you've kind of gone back through my videos, which a lot of people do that, you will see that I was on WW. I was on Weight Watchers for a long time. So between freestyle way in the beginning and then mainly predominantly blue, which is basically freestyle, and now personal points, which I personally have not been a fan of for. A number of reasons. So if you're watching all those old videos, you're probably thinking that I'm still on Weight Watchers. So full transparency, I am not. I do consider myself a Weight Watchers member. And to be honest, you know, I have so many of those. You know how with Weight Watchers, it has that thing where you get a free month, I get a free month. So I've got a lot of free months. So at any time, I could just jump right back on their plan. But I don't. And the reason that I don't is because I'm having a lot of success right now. And, it, you know, it might have just been my time to change things up. I'm not saying anything is wrong with Weight Watchers at all. I don't think that there is anything wrong with it. In fact, I really strongly more than ever believe that you will lose weight on any plan, any plan, as long as you're excited about it and following it. And you know how that is. Seasons change. And this might have just been my season to change. Will I ever go back to Weight Watchers? I don't know. Probably. Maybe. I don't know. I have no idea. But right now at this moment, and if you watch my channel, you know that I don't set goals that are a year out for this exact reason. Because if my body says, hey, right now, I love low carb, low cal, I'm going to do that. Now, if there comes a time where my body says, let's try the blue plan again, let's try the WW whatever 2023 new plan, maybe that as well. But right now, what I have been doing and what caused me this late, I am I am now at goal, but at the time that I started, I was not recently. So to bring you up to speed, I lost 40 pounds, I gained 15 back. I lost the 15 and then I gained a little bit again. So I started the Rocky, you know, the one we don't like. So here in two weeks, I lost over seven pounds doing low cal, low carb. And my exact plan that I'm doing is 1,350 to 1,500 calories per day. I have 50 to 75 total carbs per day. And my goal for protein is 100 grams. Outside of that, I don't pay any attention to it. Not worried about salt. I am aware of the sugar, but I hit it in the carbs. So that's one thing my dietitian said because I kept saying to her, what should I set my sugar at? I am using the free version of my fitness pal. So I thought I had to set my sugar and she said, no, you're gonna catch it in the carbs. So if you're eating something high in sugar, whether it's natural occurring sugar or added sugar, you will catch it in the carbs. So that is what I'm doing and that has what that is what has helped me to lose these last seven pounds in two weeks. So that does put me at goal. My goal is between 145 and 150. So if that number changes at any time, I will definitely let you know. You will be the second to know behind me. So I'll let you know about that, let you know if my weight changes drastically on these Wednesday weigh-ins. So I am still in my goal range. So what I've decided to do is I'm not, if I'm in my range that I just gave you 145 to 150, I'm just gonna tell you I'm in range. Because what I don't wanna do is get myself hung up on, uh, well, I lost 0.2, I gained 0.6, I lost 1.1, I, you know what I mean. So what I'm gonna do is if I'm in my window, I'm in my window, and as of today, I'm in my window. Now you're gonna notice I'm doing a whole lot more videos right now than I have been because many of you have requested it, and I think it's because I'm getting a lot of DMs where many of you are saying you might wanna try this out with me. No big deal. You know, jump off WW for a while, maybe you're not even on WW. But that's what I'm doing, 1,300 to 15, 1,350 to 1,500 calories, 50 to 75 total carbs, and a protein goal of 100. Now, do I hit all of that all the time? No, I don't, but I come very close. And what I have discovered for myself is that that's a little bit of the magic. That's the magic pill for me. You're gonna have to play around with it a little bit yourself. 
I'm going to show you right here. I'm just going to leave it here and I'll link it below how I, I did my own macros. I, and by macros, I'm talking about protein, fat, carbs, and then calories. So I just used one of those free online calculators and did that myself. But keep in mind, I also am working with a dietitian and we did tweak my numbers a bit. When I'm saying we tweaked them a bit, I mean the least little bit. So I know some people think those online calculators are not accurate. I personally don't agree with that. I think they're accurate for a base, like garbage in, garbage out. If you give them good stuff in, you're honest about your height, your weight, your activity level, how you eat, you answer the questions honestly, then you're going to get good results out. So that's really, really important. If you don't exercise, don't say you do. Because what's gonna happen is you're gonna give yourself more calories that are gonna, you don't need them. And then you're gonna say, why am I gaining weight? So just make sure you answer everything, you know, accurately to, you know, be true to yourself on that. And then the only thing that I tweaked was we left my protein where it was defaulting to, but I personally tweaked the carbs because I am pre-diabetic. I'm not diabetic, but I am pre-diabetic. I've had a little, I've had some high readings. And so I want to push my carbs down a little bit. So she wanted me to have my carbs at right around that hundred mark total carbs. I said I wanted them to be 50 to 75. Well, as a result of that, we had to increase something else. And what we increased was my fat. Now that was hard for me. Um, but she kind of talked me off the ledge and she said, look, healthy fat. Are you going to go have pork chops every night dipped in butter with some cheese on the side and a little bit of bacon? No, that is, that's dirty fat. You're going to have clean fat, egg yolks, avocados, nuts, olive oil, olives. There's a lot of things that you can get that are healthy fats. And for me in the beginning, it was very, very hard to see my, you, you look at a pie on my fitness pal, and it'll show you your macros. So your carbs, your fat, your protein. And my fat was like 50% sometimes. And I would get like, oh my gosh, this, I, this is going to be bad. Well, guess what? I've had my cholesterol done. I am losing weight. My cholesterol is fine. I, everything's fine. So eating healthy fat, I just really don't think it's a bad thing. And I was one of those people, I was adamantly like, there's no way. It's, I'm not going to do it. But I do think there's a definite distinction between the dirty fat and the good fat. So that's something that my dietitian and I talk about all the time because I'm constantly needing reassurance that that's going to be okay. And so far, everything's okay. And what she said to me is, we'll catch it. You know, we're talking often enough that if you're putting on weight, you're weighing every week, you know if this is a mistake for you. And so far, it definitely has not been. So that is my update for my Weigh In Wednesday. If you have any questions at all about everything that I talked about or comments, please leave them below. I will definitely get back to you. I read all of them. So, and if there's enough questions that are, you know, that we're getting a lot of questions about this program, then I'll just do a Q&A video. We'll just kind of hammer them out, bang, bang, bang. So, anyway... I will see you in the next day or two for another video.